Thanks a million for having us out to Cullen Thra. Um, so we're a couple of weeks out from the Chatham Festival. We've just seen some of your team riding out this morning. Are you happy with where you have your team at the minute? Yeah, they're in good nick. We're happy with where we are. Um, obviously, I think we're 70 or 80 days out now from the festival. So uh, looking forward to getting the last couple of bits working into them and getting over there. I'll be well. Jerry Kalam, like he's on track for the Gold Cup, is he? Yeah, he's in good nick. Obviously, he's a good bit of improvement to do to be at Gallup and the Champions Leperstown run. But uh, I think... Um, He's in good nick. I'm looking forward to Cheltenham. Um, he has to improve, but uh, we're looking forward to a big run. Bit of drier ground. Um, I think we'll see a different horse. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to the race. You think the dry ground will suit him, do you? I do, yeah. You know, we were all putting him down for a mud lark, but the way he travelled and jumped in the entry last year on better ground, I think a bit of drier ground will really suit him. And the step up and trip as well. It's a longer trip at Cheltenham. Will that be a Definitely, positive? I think it'll really suit him. Yeah. Because he's, he's a wee bit of a forgotten horse of the Gold Cup, isn't he? Yeah, he is, yeah. Um, sometimes that's a good thing. Uh, but obviously, look, it's the race is hotting up. Obviously, um, Willie's horse has been awesome this year, and we all have to go to beat him. Uh, but uh, look, it's a race horse, and you never know. And of course, you know what it's like to win a Gold Cup. How does he compare it to Don Cossack? Do you think, or do, can you compare the two? Probably not as classy as Don Cossack as in speed wise, but he's a grinder and he really, really stays. Um, you know, if he gets into a rhythm and he's winning fire and distance at the top of the hill, I think he'll come on very strong. And we haven't seen him since the Savills, was that your plan, just yeah, to go straight there? Yeah, that was the plan, to go straight there. Um, he worked uh, Saturday, he's in good form. He'll do two more bits of work now, but uh, I'm happy we're having him. Poo, we haven't seen him since that, and it's great Saturday, no, but that, that was the plan as well. That's been the plan, yeah. Uh, he worked Saturday as well and worked well. Um, he's known as Suman Horse, he doesn't do anything really fancy at home, but uh, he was just beaten in the stairs last year, and uh, he's the horse on the way up, and I'm really looking forward to running him. Because as you say, he wasn't beaten far in the stairs the last last year. He didn't have a great run through the last last part of the race, and he's possibly a better horse this year, is he? He's definitely a stronger horse, and um, so you'd have to say he's improved with age. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to running him. I think he's he's a massive chance. Uh, I'd be shocked if Jack doesn't ride him. Um, yeah, he's a big chance. And you said quite quickly after the Hatton's race hurdle that you go straight to Shelton. Like that was a fairly bold call. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes when you say something, you think after maybe I should have given a run in between it. But uh, look, we we've got punches town with entry, and we have France as well. So, um, you know, if you mind them, we'll get a couple of years out of them. I'll be mad. And of course, he won the race last year with Sir de Belle. Uh, yeah, how's, how's he? He's in great form. He actually worked very well. Mark Walsh rode him on Saturday, and he worked very well. Um, again, he's very hard horse to get fit. Uh, he seems to come good in the spring. Uh, so, looking forward to Sunday's back, and hopefully, he can run a big race. Because he's 12 now. He was, as an 11 year old, he won it. I think he was the first horse age older than 9 or 10 to win it since the 80s. You wouldn't think he's 12 looking at him. He minds himself. Uh, yeah, look, he's a special horse, and you know, we're very lucky to have him. Mm. And you've got Irish Point potentially for the race as well? Yeah. Um, he's obviously in the champion as well. If they come up very soft, we might go that way. Um, he won a Leopards and won well. Uh, he, he's, he's an unassuming horse. He's so laid back, you never know what you have underneath the bonnet. Um, it'll be a tough decision for Jack to ride, or to pick. Sorry, mm. um, what he's going to ride? Uh, yeah, looking forward. Because he's a he's a classy horse. He won over two and a half miles of Grade One at entry last season, mm. the novice race. But he stayed the three mile trip at Leopards Ten the last day. But maybe they didn't go a great pace in the early part. They didn't part of go the race. a great gallop. But I, I thought he showed a great attitude when he settled through a race. I'd say he could run him over four miles. He's that type of horse. Um, but he's probably like a classier horse than he who is a speedier horse. Um, just whether he'd stay as, as good as him I'm not sure uh, yeah so it'll be a good race you've got a really good team of novice hurdlers as well headed by brighter days ahead she's a mare you've always held at Harry Carr. yeah she's a lovely mare she's, she, you know, she's, again she's not flashy at home but she keeps winning she knows how to win uh, we're very happy at the moment um, so really looking forward to running her because she's obviously really well bred mare um, she's unbeaten like she's won her mm. bumpers won her hurdle races and she keeps on improving yeah Again, she, she knows how to win. Um, I thought she jumped very well the last day in Nav, and she's, she's maturing the whole time and she's getting more professional. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking forward to running her. And that was, I think it was two miles five at Nav in the last day. Yeah. Would the drop down and trip to two miles be a concern? Or no, not? not at all. Yeah. To be honest, I didn't really want to run her in the race, but just the way it happened, I missed a little bit of time on her and I had to run her. It was a new race that was suitable. I didn't want to travel to the UK with her at this stage of the season. You could see she travels away the whole way. and she probably end up getting there plenty soon, but uh, yeah, she's nice. Firefox is another horse you've always had in high regard as well. Yeah, he'll go for the Supreme Novice. Uh, he was disappointed in the he came home not right from it, but he's been working well, and 
you know, obviously it's going to be a very good race. Um, all depends on what Willie runs. Badly born, he looks a standout horse in the race. Uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to running the early. I think he's a very good horse. No, of course, you've beaten Badly born before. We beat him, yeah. Um, obviously, he he he's gone the right way, and we went a little bit the wrong way the last day. But uh, Cheltenham may be a different story. Your novice chasers again, interesting bunch. Found a fifty. He looks like he looks like he's just an underrated horse, isn't he? Yeah, he was good. Leper sound, you know, just got touched off. Um, he done nothing wrong when he got beat. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to running him. Obviously, he run in the Arkle. Um, it looks an open race. Uh, he was more professional, I thought, the second day than he was the first. Um, yeah, so he's in good nick. And he's a horse. He did have the turn, as obviously, as an option as well over two and a half miles. But you think the Arkle would sit him better? Yeah, I think we'll go for the Arkle with him. Um, obviously, with the Turners as well, we'd probably on Sandy here in that. Uh, he was second to fact the the first day, then he won in Turles, showed a good attitude over two miles. I need to step up the two and a half will suit him. Um, you know, he's been placed in a few champion hurdles and a triumph hurdle, so uh, he seems to like Cheltenham. Yeah, I mean, he, he's run well there and in defeat in like a couple, yeah. a couple of occasions. Yeah, he's kind of, um, he's been stuck between the rock and the hard place a little bit. You know, he's he's been a very good horse, but just a little bit below top class. So maybe going chasing a little better. Yeah. And Salvador Ziggy, we haven't seen him in a little while either. We haven't seen him since the American Grand National. We've trained him back for the National Hunt Chase purposely. And um, the better the ground, the better chance he has. Obviously, he's a second season novice would suit him. Uh, he had a good run in the Kerry National. Mm. Uh, he was disappointed in America, but uh, his run in the few greater chases before that and the Kerry National, I thought, were very good runs. And did you just bring him back from America and give him some time off? And bring him we back gave him a break and came here. This has been the plan all along. Conflated, like he's he's been an unlucky horse not to yeah. finish place in the last two. He'd runs. been placed probably in the in in Leperton's last two runs and just unchipped the jockey both times. So. Uh, we're going to go for the right there with him. Um, y- you know, he, he likes going left-handed. Uh, the right there looks an open race, so that's where we're going. Because he ran a massive race in the Gold Cup last year as he well, did. just maybe didn't get home. Yeah, he was third in a good race. Sam gave him a great ride. Um, yeah, Jack will have a tough choice with him and Phil Dorr, so I'll leave that up to Jack when he wants to ride. And Phil Dorr, you think he's going he's got there with yeah, a good chance as well? Yeah, he is, yeah. He had a very good run in Nace and in Cork this year. Um, I think the step up and triple suit him. So uh, the way he jumps and stays, I think uh, I think it really suits him. And unconflated, he, he did have the option of the cross country chase. I think you had yeah. that in mind from early on. He'd schooled very well. He's entered the cross country race, obviously. Um, look at uh, the Ryanair is a great one, and obviously uh, Michael sponsors the race, so he'd like to win it. Galvin and Delta work again for the cross country. We've Galvin, Delta, and Coco Beach, um, so we're strong enough. And Galvin and Delta work. They fought out the finish last year. They yeah, good. Yeah, um, you know, I suppose. Uh, the, the better the ground will suit Galvin and the softer the ground will suit Delta and probably suit Coco as well so we, we have horses for all different uh, different spheres so uh, yeah looking forward to it uh, and Coco Beach he was a bit of a revelation at Punchestown yeah. the last day he was good in the tr- Tritown and then he was very good in Punchestown jump great um, he'll obviously run the cross country race and then probably head on for the English Grand National lots of potentials for handicaps King of Kingsfield is one that maybe he'll go for the county hurdle with He's in the county hurdle and in Supreme Novice. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'll have to talk to Michael and Eddie and see what we do. Uh, Jack is very keen for him to go for the county. He thinks his race is made for him. Um, so, yeah, look, at he's in good form. Uh, he's been placed in two great races his last two runs, so uh, he looks like he could be well handicapped off his mark, but uh, we'll have a look and see what we do. The, the build-up to Cheltenham, do you, do you enjoy this time of year? Or is yeah. it kind of a nervy time when you're going around the yard? Oh, listen, you're nervous every day you go out to making sure everything's okay, but... Uh, Look to be in the position we're in and have the horses we have. It's a, it's a great position to be in and just can't wait to get over there now and get going. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.